Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to tell you how you can stop yourself from having a stroke, from having a heart attack. You can even stop your toilet from running over. (laughs) Okay, listen, I know that sounds crazy. But what I want to tell you is this. These are all supernatural events that took place in my life as a result of a relationship with my father, which are in heaven. Father God, now listen to this. Mm -hmm. I was sitting in a choir stand one day. Now this particular week, it was during the New Year's holiday, and my neighbor and I had done a lot of cooking of pork, and we pigged out, excuse the pun, we pigged out on pork for that whole week. Now, I had not eaten any pork for about a year, so my system was totally clean of eating any pork. And all of a sudden, on a daily basis, we're like pigging out. So during the choir rehearsal, all of a sudden, the room starts spinning. I mean, the room was spinning. Totally out of control, right? Then the left side of my face went numb. Hello. I'm off balance. I'm like, oh no. I'm bracing myself in the chair. This profuse sweat has come out on me. And guess what? My ear, my left ear went totally, I don't know, it was totally deaf, but the hearing went very dull in my left ear. Well, I knew what that meant. And I didn't have time to ask can I have a prayer request? Can somebody come over here? Can you call 9 I didn't have time to do anything. I jumped on this myself. And this is what I said. With tears running down my face and sweat running all down everywhere. Now the choir didn't notice it because they were all caught up in the buzz of, of getting their paperwork and their little music, their sheet music and all that. So they didn't even notice. I was at the very end. And I'm sitting there saying, I rebuke stroke in the name of Jesus. I rebuke high blood pressure in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, forgive me for eating all that pork. I rebuke stroke in the name of Jesus. I mean, I just kept repeating. I was so scared. The tears were coming. The sweat was was rolling. And everything on my left was crazy. And I'm rebuking and I'm, I'm, I'm commanding, this is what I said, I command my blood pressure to go down to normal in the name of Jesus. Go down, 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 now in the name of Jesus. I mean, I was desperate. I rebuke stroke in the name of Jesus. Blood pressure go down now in the name of Jesus. So anyway, I'm going on and on and on with that, right? And then I noticed the dizziness is gone. The feeling in my left face is coming back like Novocaine wearing off in 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 uh, in, hot, in top speed. I mean, it was just like fast forwarding as the as the uh, the Novocaine was going away, and my feeling was tingling back into my face. Then I noticed that the hearing in my left ear popped back to normal. Everything went back to normal. Everything. And guess what? I didn't have a stroke. But had I called 911, I probably would have had a full-fledged stroke by the time I had gotten to the hospital. I called on G-O-D. That was the first one I called on. And by the time I got through with him, and God got through with me, I had no need for 911. And from that day on, I stayed as far away from pork <laughs> as a woman with an abusive husband. Run, baby, run the other direction. Nope, sorry, don't eat pork or get away from me. Get thee behind me, Satan. Yeah, I didn't mess with pork. I mean, once in a blue moon, somebody give you a little taste or something. But when I say once in a blue moon, I'm talking once every two or three years. But I'm I'm not sitting there eating and putting pork in my mouth unless it's either unknowingly or somebody 
gave me a taste of something that was on their plate. And I mean a taste, barely a forkful. I don't play with it. I don't play with it. So here's another one. Number two. This is another time when God came through and I stopped myself from having a heart attack. Now, I had been having heart murmurs, I guess, for about six months, irregular heartbeat. I didn't have health insurance, couldn't afford the prescriptions. So guess what I had to rely on? Prayer. Yeah. So when my heart would start going hippity hop and bumpity bump, I would start telling my heart, I command you to beat regularly as God designed you originally. I rebuke heart attack. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke irregular heartbeat. In the name of Jesus, I command my heart to obey the perfect and original design of God for you to beat perfectly and rhythmically in the name of Jesus. And I would go on and on and on until my heart calmed down and started beating regularly. Well, I found out uh, months later that sometimes magnesium, getting your magnesium levels up, Will stop that, and uh, and when you are your nutrition is balanced, it does make a difference. It really does make a difference. So first I had to rely on prayer, then I had to learn about nutrition and find out how things affect the body and give my body some help with vitamins. But God answered my prayer. Number three. How to stop your toilet from running. I know you're saying, what? Okay, listen to this. A month and a half, two months ago, I take that back, two months ago. For one whole month, my toilet ran, but it didn't run fast. So I didn't think it was going to make a big difference in my water bill. It made $40 worth of a difference. So I hurried up and prayed hard but when I got that bill in my hand. And I was like, okay, Lord, I can't afford this. I'm a widow living on $856 a month plus food stamps. I need you to fix my toilet. Yeah, I sure did ask God that. So I asked him, Lord, would you please dispatch angels to maneuver the mechanism to make that water stop running? And I walked over to my toilet and I rebuked the devil. I mean, I pray. I know it sounds comical, but that day, before that day was up, my toilet stopped running. It was like all of a sudden, silence. And I was saying, wait a minute, I don't hear the noise. And it was silent for, I would say about a month and a week. And then I'm sitting here at the computer and all of a sudden I hear, I said, oh, no. I jumped up, went to the restroom, looked at the toilet and said, Lord, do what you did before. Send your angels. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Take your hand off of my toilet in Jesus' name. Within about 10 seconds. It's still quiet. God will answer prayer, I'm telling you. God will work the craziest miracles if you're willing to say some of the craziest. Ah, uh, what's the word? You want your words to be exact. You want to be very specific. Pray it. I don't care how ridiculous it sounds. One person told me they were on they were on a desert route. It was a long road, a long space between anywhere they can get any kind of car help. There was no phone. I mean, no nothing. And they were really, really, really having a hard time. And they ran out of gas. <clears throat> now, this wasn't me. This was someone else. This is someone else's testimony. While they, when they realized they ran out of gas, the Lord reminded them, if I remember correctly, to look in the back seat and the person had about three or whatever, however many gallons of water in the back seat. Now, any idiot knows you don't pour water in a gas tank. But you remember in the Bible where it said Jesus turned the water into wine? 
Well, this person had the crazy faith, creative enough faith, mm -hmm, to be specific and ask God to turn his water into gasoline. And he took plain old water. It wasn't gasoline. It was water. But he poured it in his gas tank. And he sat there and he prayed hard because he said, either I'm going home or my engine is shot and I'm stranded here till the next thing goes by. He started his car up and drove home. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you could ask or think according to the power that works in you and me, according to the power that works in us, the power of your faith, the power of your prayer, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Avail, baby. Pray that righteous prayer and avail. Pray. Don't panic. You've got a God on your side. Pray.